The Indian River Lagoon is an essential part of our community's ecosystem. Equally important to our community is clean and safe drinking water provided by Indian River County Utilities. In 2010, Indian River County undertook a project which took an old, fallow citrus grove and converted it into a natural filtration system for the demineralization concentrate byproduct of the North County Reverse Osmosis Water Plant. Spoonbill Marsh, east of US-1 and north of 53rd Street, mixes approximately 1.5 million gallons of demineralization byproduct and 2.5 million gallons of lagoon water each day by filtering it through ponds and mangroves, then returning that water back to the lagoon cleaner than when it was received. Since this project came to fruition, the site has seen a marked improvement in water quality, lagoon health, and the proliferation of wildlife in and around the site. In 2004, the county was doing an alternative siting analysis for the disposal of the water leaving the water plant. This site was evaluated as part of that process, and it was found to have the potential of providing extremely valuable wildlife habitat in addition to treating the water. The operational concept for this project was to pump water from the water treatment plant, mix it with water pumped on site from the river. It upwells into wetland in four locations, flows towards the east through four ponds, a series of 15 runnels, and then through a substantial uh, mangrove community before exiting back into the river. The design of this wetland takes advantage of all the mechanisms that wetlands have for removing nutrients and storing them, in addition to taking advantage of the fact that those nutrients that are stored in the wetlands will eventually become the food supply for other organisms. Consequently, this particular site is not only removing the nutrients from the water treatment plant in the river, but at the same time, it's also providing valuable habitat. And overall, we've been very pleasantly surprised at how many species are currently utilizing this site. The mangroves that are found on this site play an extremely important role in the nutrient removal process. The site is monitored um, almost on a daily basis, water quality Samples are collected on a weekly basis, and to date, the wetlands has been highly successful in removing both nitrogen and phosphorus, along with suspended solids from the water returning back to the lagoon. Secondary to that is the fact that it has provided significant wildlife habitat that otherwise wouldn't exist in this section of the river. So from our perspective, we're very happy that we had the opportunity to create this and that it's been as successful as it has been. By choosing a natural filtration solution, Indian River County avoided utilizing other solutions that can have a negative impact on the environment and created a preservation area for wildlife to thrive. We're proud of the success of this project and the Indian River County Board of County Commissioners are dedicated to protecting our local natural resources and being stewards of the environment for generations to come.